What's up everyone? Back today with some more Mecha Break gameplay from the closed beta test. This time we are going to be playing Sky Raider, a striker I hinted at in the previous video about being a very strong and I would say the strongest striker in the closed beta. And obviously that could change by the time we get the full release. I'm sure they saw how well it performed in the closed beta and they're looking to change it. Uh, but we're still playing with it in its strong state right here and we're gonna be playing on a different map this time gonna be on the mercury shipyards uh previous map that i showed had an objective more akin to the domination game types from other games this one is more similar uh to payload but it has some neat differences as well which i'll explain as the game goes on but i am playing here with uh my friend exio who uh was uh, a fellow gundam evolution player who also been the close beta test and uh he did also upload at least one video so far for the Mecha Break beta, and he might be uploading some more, so uh, I'll include a link to his channel if you want to check that out. And then we're also playing with one of his friends, uh, Tokoa. And I think this was only his uh, second game, uh, second match since booting up Mecha Break. He didn't have a lot of time to play earlier uh, in the in the beta time period, so he was a little bit new to it, but uh, we were throwing him into some tough matches since Exio and I had been playing for a bit more. But he performed pretty well, all things considered. Uh, but starting off here, I'm already trying to establish air dominance, fighting the enemy Sky Raider and taking him out pretty quick, getting right behind him and making that a very easy dogfight for me. But uh, I did say I was going to talk more about the objectives. So, so far, uh, you can see both at the top of the screen, both payloads have stopped at 5%. And that's because uh, if you can look on the uh, tracker there, there's those dots in the middle. And uh, as they go along, there's certain points where the payloads will get stopped. And once the first one uh, reaches those points, It'll be uh, stuck there, and the other one has a little bit of time to catch up. I think it's 10 seconds until a point will activate, and you do kind of a King of the Hill fight over that, and the winning team of that point uh, gets their payload to push forward uh, about, I think it's like 8 to 10%. It may actually differ depending on uh, which one it is. I think this first one doesn't push it as forward as far. But even though I established that early air dominance and had a lot of uh, free reign there, the enemy team fought harder for that point, so they did get that early boost. And you can see they've got uh, a good 6 seven percent on us going towards uh the next point on the list so i'm still doing my best to just clear out enemies from the sky that is a downside of sky raider as good as it is you're not too great at fighting over objectives especially like this one um domination probably a little bit better because if you fly across the map and get to an area it's a bit safer uh you can be okay but right there i tried to hop on the enemy payload because the thing is it's uh, it's different than other ones where you don't have to just stand in the area of it you actually have to stand on top of it uh, and it's, uh, if you stand on top of your own payload, it will go faster. They move forward automatically at a certain speed, but having one person on it, like I am right now, will make it go faster. But you can also stand on top of the enemy payload and cause it to go in reverse. So right now, I think we had people on both, but I was forced off of ours. This, uh, Aquila, the flying sniper that the enemy has, is going in on me. And that is one of Sky Raider's, uh, main weaknesses. It's a shared weakness with, uh, the other flying striker, Falcon, is that, uh, you're pretty weak to sniper shots because... I don't know if I explained in the last video, but uh, sniper shots have a special property where, kind of like melees, melee attacks fully pierce uh, the fluid shields, the, the white health bar, but uh, sniper shots partially pierce, so they'll do probably, I want to say it's around 70 to 80% of their damage will go to shields as long as you have the shields to take all that damage, and then the remaining percent will go directly to your green health. And uh, actually, Sky Raider has interesting property where if you charge your primary attack, uh, and it See, I used it right there. It actually will also have sniper rifle properties and will partially pierce through the shields. If I just do the regular fire, you'll see I do like the two round burst uh, right there. I've just been doing the charge shots because I generally try to go for those if I can. Right there, this guy's got no more shields left, so I am going for a charge shot still to get that kill, but I probably could have just hit him with uh, the regular shots because he didn't have that anymore. That is another advantage for Sky Raider. But we're starting to get towards the second point here, and this is uh, an awkward part of the map for flyers because we're inside of a building. I can still kind of fly in there, but it does get me lower to the ground, which can be a lot more risky because uh, Sky Raider is tankier than the other Flyer Falcon. Uh, they both have a similar weakness to, like, sniper rifles, but uh, Sky Raider is a bit tankier against pretty much everything else. But uh, you don't both die pretty fast to melee attacks still, which is uh, hard to pull off since you're going to be so high up in the sky. But in this area in particular, if I try and get in here and contest the point, if they have a melee that wants to come in and hit me, they could take me out pretty quick. But they've got this Tricera. He's kind of the turret striker. He can set up here, activate his shields, and he uh, can't move while he's in that turret mode, but he's very tanky. And even with all of us shooting him, it took a while to finally get the kill, and we were able to cap that point first. 
and uh, able to get our cart uh, with a little bit of a lead. I'm like 7% now, but uh, yeah, that's right. Sarah is very good at playing objectives that we don't have one, and they do, so that is going to cost control for us as we go on. Uh, but speaking of Sky Raider's other abilities, aside from uh, the flight ability, which is kind of the main one you're going to be seeing most of the time, typically I try and stay in flight mode as long as I can. Sky Raider is just way better when you have that extra speed and extra height on your enemies. Uh, but uh, you do share your primary weapons for, in uh, flight mode and out of flight mode with the charge shot. Um, and the burst fire from the energy auto cannon, but uh, you also have your secondary fire, which you can see right there, that uh, like kind of electric orb that's going around on the ground. You can launch those uh, missiles uh, both in flight mode and out of flight mode, and that is an AoE damage thing, which does a lot of damage if the enemy stays in it, but uh, they can move out of it and reduce some of the damage you're dealing to them. But also, uh, those friendly fires, you can hurt yourself with it, and you can actually hurt your teammates with it, and I think it might be the only ability that has that property, so Skyrider is alone in the potential to accidentally grief your team if you're not careful, but hopefully they see that coming and you can be careful where you're placing it. But since they're all grouped up on their card over there, I'm trying to throw them out, but I think I was actually doing a bit of damage to my teammate there, but uh, decided to take some shots out of flight mode, and they uh, noticed me and started firing back, so I'm going to take back the skies and give my shield a chance to recharge. But the final ability is uh, the third one there. You can see I have two charges of it. Uh, and that is uh, a missile ability, and it's kind of interesting. You don't fire the missile directly at the enemy. It kind of launches and hits the ground and then uh, dispenses smaller missiles that fire out of it. Um, so usually that's better against grounded targets, but if, I think if flying targets don't get too far away, those uh, missiles will still fire up and be able to reach them. And, oh, and I said final ability. I guess I didn't talk about the first ability, which can uh, I think along with the missiles can only be used while you're in flight mode. But if you see a bunch of kind of uh, smaller energy orbs... Uh, compared to the one I talked about before. Those ones, I think they do a little bit of damage, but not as much, but those are kind of a uh, distraction technique. They'll, they'll uh, affect enemies' lock-on abilities if they get hit with it, and uh, also I think it blocks energy attacks to go through it, so that's pretty good at uh, trying to get snipers off your back. You can either fly in close and drop it in on them you know, so they can't target you, or if you're just flying away, you can drop them behind you, and that'll kind of provide a little bit of a shield for those attacks. But uh, we reached the final... Uh, kind of uh, King of the Hill point, and we did win that fight, but the enemies are grouping up on their card again to try and catch up to us. I've still managed to stay alive this whole time, thanks to us having some sort of heals, but I spot the enemy Aquila again. I'm gonna try and take him out. As I mentioned, those uh, snipers can be a big trouble for the flyers, since they can get through your shield, and uh, the flyers are pretty weak to those their types of weapons. But also, if you get up in their face with your superior mobility, it's uh, hard for them to really lock on with their shots and get the damage they need. Kilo trying to fly away there, and I do take him out. And I'm trying to do what I can to get as much of this disruption I, onto the Tricera when he's on the cart, just so he, my uh, allies can get in without as much fear of damage. And also myself, so I can fly away without getting gunned down by him. We were able to take him out there, but he was actually jumped on top of our cart to try and delay it while his teammates are catching up. And while so far I've been able to uh, dominate the skies a lot and just the battlefield in general, getting a lot of kills, the enemy team is doing a really good job of playing for the objective, either their Tricera, they also have their Hurricane using all these shields and these uh, distraction uh, drones to take priority of my lock-on and, and making me miss a lot of my shots. Doing a really good job of moving their card along, and they're still trying to catch up even though we're getting close to the end here. I decided to drop out of the sky for a little bit, regain some of my energy, take some shots at Sky Raider. I'm actually sure that this uh, enemy here may have been new to Sky Raider, because I noticed he was uh, playing out of the air a lot, or maybe he... Uh, our team was just making him too afraid to take this guys. I was shooting him out of it a lot, so maybe he was just trying to play a little bit safer on the ground. But there's their Tricera again, trying to make a play uh, for our cart, just turning up on it, got his shields active and everything, doing what he can. And it's kind of an awkward spot here for me to fight him because this big building that's the end of the map is here, so it's hard for me to get a good straight route coming from that angle. So I've exited flight mode for a bit here, and I'm doing a lot less damage, as you can see, but we are able to take him out still. And thankfully that uh, enemy Welkin there with his axe did not notice me. Going for those swings wasn't able to take me out, but he put his shield up around it. And they're still fighting for it, and they're catching up pretty good here. 94% to 92. Made up a lot of the distance. I'm flying in, dropping those uh, the flares to disrupt them, make it so they can't target my allies. Get another kill there, but they're actually about to take the lead if we're not careful. I think Hurricane is sitting on their cart. We got no one on ours. We are able to push him off. Got some of my teammates in there. I think Exio is on the Panther using his melee attacks to try and force him off at that close range. And he hops on top of their cart. He's pushing it back a little bit while Arth is still slowly going forward with no one on it. And they knock him off of their cart. He hops back onto ours. 
and he just narrowly pushes it in and we're able to win in the last second there so pretty dominant match for me doing uh didn't, not dying the entire time and doing a lot of damage but the uh, enemy team played the objective very well you can see they brought it down to the wire there and i was actually worried that despite all of that we were going to lose right at the end but i am able to get the mvp as sky raider not an uncommon sight for a sky raider players so we'll have to see how that changes going forward with the game if they're thinking about nerfs to this guy but definitely a very fun striker to play and even though i do think it's better than the other flyer falcon uh being worse than sky raider is not necessarily that bad of a situation to be in so i think they're both pretty good up there hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some more mecha break gameplay you'll have to let me know if you want to see more and what strikers you might be interested in seeing that's going to be it for this time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.